Hey everybody, it's Tanner, and welcome back to Steampunks for another video. This week we're going to be talking about games in the $15 category. Now this is one of the most jam-packed categories on Steam, as there are a ton of games that fall into the $15 column. So rather than trying to show you what I think are the best games, I'm going to be showing you 5 games that I think are well worth the money. So sit back, this is 5 great games under $15. Broforce is a testosterone-filled explosion of a game that features satirical references to the action movie stars of yesteryear. Nearly every action movie from the 80s and 90s has been included. From Terminator to Men in Black, all of the ham is here in Broforce. This game may look like a simple run and gun, but is actually full of nuance. Enemies can be alerted, large sections of terrain can be destroyed with explosives, and a one-hit kill system prevents players from running through levels disregarding damage. What looks like a bloody explosive mess can actually take some strategy to complete, giving this game method to counteract the madness. Broforce is yours for just $15. Crypt of the Necro Dancer is a funky, rhythm-based dungeon crawler. Moving at the pace of the music, you must traverse the caverns, defeating monsters and collecting buffers along the way. Going deeper and deeper into the dungeon, you will be confronted with even more enemies and bosses along the way. As the music changes, so too must your gameplay style to adapt to the tempo. This game is very addictive, and the music has a way of sticking in your head even months after you've played it. Go check out Crypt of the Necrodancer on Steam. Simple Planes is, well, pretty simple. It's a plane simulator that allows you to design and build your own planes, tweak them, and then fly them around a few island environments. This game gives players the freedom to explore different plane types and designs from an old Wright Brothers plane to the most modern of fighter jets, and even some planes that are straight out of the community's imagination. No other flight simulator lets you fly around in a gigantic shark. If you're interested in simple planes, you can check it out on Steam, or you can even check out our full review right here. Not a Hero is a side-scrolling shooter with a pixelated art style. The game lets you choose from several unlockable characters, all members in Bunny Lord's Fun Club. Bunny Lord is currently running for office, and it's up to his fun club to make sure that the city's major factions are kept in check. The game features some unique mechanics, and once you get the controls down, is very fun and challenging at the same time. Each level has side objectives that will add to the challenge for players who are looking for something more, but the game is still easy enough for novice players to pick up. For only 15 bucks, it's yours on Steam. Ultimate Chicken Horse is the ultimate couch multiplayer game. You and up to three friends can pick characters and all play together in the levels that slowly develop by your own madness. The game is a simple platformer from point A to B, but what makes it challenging is the objects that each player gets to put into the level at the beginning of each round. Players can pick from lots of different items like regular platforms or platforms with saws, swinging saws, and even some crazier stuff like tennis ball shooters and automatic hockey puck shooters. There is a certain balance to all this chaos, however. You need to make the level challenging enough to stop your opponents, but simple enough to complete yourself. This balancing act can be tough at first, but it's so accessible that even novice gamers can pick it up without issue. This game is perfect fodder for fun-fueled Knights of Frenzy, and it's yours for 15 bucks. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave us a like and maybe think about subscribing to Steampunks. We're a small channel and we can only grow with your help, guys. You can follow us on Twitter, I'm always updating and posting about the channel, and you can also find me there to answer questions about games and the channel. Make sure you check out our other content, and until next time, guys.